Hey yo, what is going on guys? This is Fletch once again and welcome back to another episode of my manager mode and today we have a lot of business to get through and before we get into that I'm gonna actually take a breath and also if you're looking to buy some FIFA on the team coins, check out FIFA coins today. Their links will be in the description. And do not forget to use the 10% discount code uh, CLUTCH, which is K-L-U-T-C-H. All the info will be in the description. But getting on to business, first things first, we had to identify all of the old and young players that we have no intention of using in my team that I was a lot, well, I was willing to let go. Uh, and I put them all up for sale, or a few for loan, I believe, but Moving on, we were look we were looking at the young guns that we were looking to replace them with, and Matty and the Stars, which is one of them. I offered a crucial first team player role because um, there's only three real centre backs that I'm targeting, so I know that when I rotate them, they'll all get a decent amount of time. So my I'm, I was confident that I was able to offer him that role and be able to give him the playing time that he'll want when when um, it comes to this this season. Um, so we offered the Stasic exactly what he wanted and also a, a crucial, for, important first team player. Um, but yeah, moving on to the next player we had to do business with, which was Adrian. I offered him 3k in 4 years, which is what he was looking for, but I didn't specify his role. I, I'm going to try not to specify people's roles, especially the players that I'm going to be rotating in and out quite a lot. Um, at Cam, I've got Lallana, um I've got Lallana and Adrian, and I've got, also got other players that can play Cam as well. So I'm, I didn't want to specify Adrian's role. Um, in terms of Bakali, I just offered him exactly what he wanted, 7k, 7K a week. Um, on a four-year contract and I wasn't going to specify his role again so hopefully we can get him without um, having to specify anything um, but yeah moving on Benzie's bid was ex well we had to increase our bid um, I offered it like 1.5 million and they wanted 2.1 so I decided to offer 1.8 like a last cheeky bid if they reject that then I'll just give them the 2.1 um, but Jack Cork is one of the players that I'm I'm gonna keep. He's definitely gonna be a squad rotation player. He's 24, rated 74, and I think he's got a little bit of improving that he can do. And he looks like a solid player on paper. Um, Papa D's contract offer was this was rejected, and I was like, what the fuck? He, he loves living there. He doesn't want to relocate apparently. But an extra 10k, I'm sure that can convince you in a crucial first team player role. An extra 10k can convince a lot of players. Um, so I offered him that. But then we moved down one one email and I was like, oh shit. A transfer bid was in the region of 11.5 mil was offered by Udinese and accepted. And I was like, bitch, what the hell are you doing? Schalke, that, that is disrespectful because I offered like 12 mil and you accepted a, a lower offer. When you didn't accept my lower offer, okay, okay, okay. So I kind of, well, I kind of upped um, Papadopoulos' contract in ace, in in ace, in haste to 65k, which I kind of regretted after I did it. Um, but I, I don't know. I I kind of rushed into it and I was like, eh, I don't want to lose him. So yeah, moving on to Aaron Questwell. Um. Offered him exactly what he wants, um, and as you, if in case you missed it before, the bid for Adam Matthews was also accepted by Celtic. Transfer offer accepted by Bayern for um, Dragovic as well. So when it got to here, I was like, shit! Why did I panic for Papa D? Because I've got Dragovic practically, and I've got Nastasic. So I've also I've already got two defenders that are fine, and I've got some. Um, defenders already at the club that would be okay um, as you can see the transfer offer for Melanda was rejected which kind of bummed me out because I wanted the, the BBB partnership in defensive mid Junior Melanda and Wanyama the truth the two oxes the strong motherfuckers at defensive mid um, but Wolfsburg weren't really having it because he just moved there apparently so they don't want him and my bid for Bruma was rejected as well. Also, guys, I am reading the comments. Um, everything that you suggest down below, I'm going to try and do. Um, but I am like one or two episodes ahead of you. So every time you see something or but every time you suggest something, it will be slightly delayed. Um, also, um, these manager mode videos aren't going to be one a week. Uh, last week, my mic was kind of messed up. So now that I have it fixed, I should be back on track with the every other day upload. So... Matty and the stars which accepted my contract offer, so I accepted him, and there's our first signing of the year. Um, also, we, we managed to pick up Bacali at the same time, which was a decent pull. We got our first two signings of the um, of my career. Um, 
And then it came to offer it came time to offer Chilobra a contract because Knott's Forest not not yeah, Nottingham have ex accepted my bid finally, so um Adrian wanted me to specify his squad role, which I didn't want to do at first. Um, and I decided to give him imp important first team player, not crucial, because crucial he'd probably expect to start every week, and he's probably not going to do that at the start. Um, but yeah, N Yassine Benzia, um, his the bid for him was accepted, so it just came down to offering him a contract as well. And with his rotation with uh, Osvaldo, I decided to give him uh, important first team player because it's going to be those two starting nine times out of ten because. Ricky Lambert ain't going to start, and and the other strikers aren't going to start either. But Papa D accepted my contract offer, which I'm not surprised. I gave him 15k over what he wanted in the start, which was kind of... I kind of overpaid for him in terms of wages. Um, and Dragovic wanted to know his, his role in the team as well. So I've got three centre-backs that I've given an important first-team player role to. So that is kind of going to be interesting. Because I'm going to have to rotate him a lot. But as I was saying, Ricky Lambert isn't really in my plans. So Cardiff offered me 3.2 mil. Which was about 100k below what my what my chief executive thought I could get for him. So I was like, you know what? Cardiff, I'm going to offer, I'm going to counter offer you with a cheeky bit of over what my chief executive said. And see exactly how much you want him. So I counter offered 4 mil. And just to see whether they do it. And... I'm going to reject all offers for Boric, even though he's old and he's only rated 76, he is my number one keeper for the majority of the season, um, because there's a lot of there's a lot of young players that will grow and into into a decent keeper, but it will take him quite a long time to actually mature. Um, so what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to scout a keeper rather than buy one for this career mode. Um, if I need to buy like a keeper just to like just to see me out for a couple of months or maybe half a season or something and i will but i'm not going with the intentions of buying a keeper to build him i'm 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 looking to go down the scouting role um but cardiff um i decided to accept the offer and give me the four mil for ricky lambert so just came down to that contract torch which i was hoping would be successful because it gave me some some more funds towards my transfer budget for me to um rebuild this team and Chiloba, well, he declined my, my contract offer, so I had to go and specify exactly what role he would have in the team. I need to stop giving people important first-team players, to be honest, because I'm going to be having a lot of people complaining when I'm not playing them. Um, but Adrian accepted his contract offer, so that is another signing for today. Also, I think we should pick up Marshall right here. Yes, we do, on a loan move. For the season which which would be decent because I, I, I want to buy Marshall but this loan move will give me good at well it'll give me a good idea of whether he'll fit into my team or not and we signed Benzia as well as Creswell I believe I'm thinking I, I think oh no Creswell declined our offer he wants to know what he's gonna wear well what his role will be and I'm not gonna bullshit him I'm, he's gonna be a squad rotation player so I told him exactly that and hopefully he doesn't really um, get upset by that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new. But till next time, it has been Clutch. Oh, and before I forget to mention the next episode, we'll have gameplay. Our first game is against Inter Milan, which should be a toughie. But anyway, goodbye. Peace.